There are multiple ways to control the uh, target object in Form Butler. So the, the person that actually receives the email. So the person that receives the email, you can set that via a data source. So this data source, for instance, will select a contact. And this contact obviously gets the uh, gets the email. So you can see that there is an inner query done. And with that inner query, we say, okay, let's get the signer contact uh, right the, from uh, from the opportunity. So that's going to be in our case, an uh, lookup field, and from that we actually get the 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 contact. How you want to construct this uh, data source is your uh, choice, obviously, but it has to be a contact, a lead, or a user. So that's the first way to control it. Now, uh, when this data source is set, is set, it will actually send out the form request to this specific contact. Let's uh, give it a try. If I send out this uh, document here. Yeah, so it's already sent out. And then if I go back to the list of form requests. And let's take a look at the latest one. And you will see it's sent to Jack Rogers. Cool. Okay, now what I had to do for this is actually create an inner um, an inner query, which is uh, rather complex. Uh, this is the uh, the inner query with the uh, with the select, so which is rather complex. We can do it in an easier way. We can just actually go to let's say the data source uh, form Butler opportunity. So this selects the opportunity. I'm gonna change the data source here. In the data source, I'm gonna get the uh, signer contact okay add the field not the relationship just add the field and then save this query now in this uh, um, in this the, the field signer contact is directly there now so this is uh, pointing to the id of the contact and what i can do in my um into inform but the actionable is to say well gonna take the data source opportunity, so not the contact, but indicate that you want to use the ID of the contact, yeah, which is a field on that opportunity. And you can set it by, by this way, just email target object field. So it will now take this field from the opportunity data source and then use that field as the ID of the contact. Let's take a look. I'm gonna again send out the, uh, uh, the mail. Okay, let's take a look at the form requests that are created. Um, so this form request is just created. And as you can see, it still sends to Jack Rogers. So, okay, no uh, complex inner queries required anymore. So you can just say this is the field to use to, to use as the uh, sender to. So uh, if it points at a contact, a lead, or a user, that uh, lookups will, will, will work just fine. Uh, the next option is that you say, well, I don't want to send it to uh, a contact, a lead, or a user. I actually want to send it to an email address that I have uh, somewhere. Maybe I have an email address on my case or on the opportunity. It's not a contact. It's not a lead. It's not a user in Salesforce. Maybe you have an uh, email to field, uh, an, uh, a custom field for a second email inside Salesforce on your contact. Uh, uh, all of those things are possible. But now you want to, of course, uh, make sure that you are able to send out referencing this field and this email address instead of referencing a contact, a lead or a user. Let's go back to our um, our data source for the form butter opportunity. Now I'm going to again go to the Sockle Builder. I'm going to say um, the field invoice reference because this field on the invoice reference is the one, it's a custom field that I'm gonna use. If you have another field, obviously use your field, but this is the field that I indicated here that I wanna use. So I added this field, I'm gonna save my query, and I'm gonna copy the name or the API name of this field directly here from my uh, data source. So let's copy this one. And let's paste this one over here. So now this field is not referencing to a uh, lead contact or user, but it's referencing to a text field that has an email address. Okay, and I'm gonna save it. Now, last but not least, let's send out the, um, the, uh, the form request. 
<clears throat> okay, it's already done. Let's take a look at all of the form requests that are created. And now if I check this out, I can see that the email is sent out to an email address and not to a contact a user or a lead. So this is three ways how you can actually control who's receiving the email from a form butter.